Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. Today is January 27, 2023. Here is uh, 24, actually, sorry. Uh, here is um, a gold analysis, but it's kind of like a gold and gold miners. And I'm telling you why, uh, based on the title in this video, gold miners are giving us a great buying opportunity for the next six to one year. So uh, just bear with me uh, for the entire video. Uh, we are going to discover lots of good materials here, uh, good cycle analysis, and also uh, the relation between GDX and GLD, which is um, ETF for gold and gold miners. So here is the GDX to GLD chart. GDX is ETF for gold miners and gold stocks, and GLD is for gold. So um, the ratio here, as you see here, when we have a nice move for the gold the entire 2023. Uh, gold miners are coming down. And uh, this down draft is kind of like a comparing to GLD. This is very, very interesting because it uh, seems like uh, gold miners are very, very undervalued. But is it going to be the end of the cycle or they can go low or low uh, at least for the next uh, two, three months? Based on my cycle analysis, as you see here, we are having an interesting um, four-year cycle, almost four-year cycle. As you see here, uh, the drops here, uh, bottom here, 2016. And then 2020, uh, we got another bottom here. Uh, obviously, COVID crash just initiated that bottom. And then at the same scenario, uh, we see that the first quarter of the cycle, we have a nice parabolic move to the upside, then coming down and corrective move to the downside. And then next rally to the upside. So uh, right now, we are getting to another uh, potential bottoming cycle for gold miners. This means uh, gold miners can outperform gold price in next, uh, I should say, uh, first quarter. Uh, no, but uh, the second quarter, third quarter, and also fourth quarter of 2024 could be are kind of like a good time for gold miners. They can outperform, especially second half of the year, they can outperform gold price. And based on this cycle, I should say, um, this cycle can bottom here somewhere around um, March to May. And then, then March to May, we see kind of like a development again, getting back to the upside. We should just follow this ratio because if it goes above this dynamic trend line here, which Kind of like a reacting. Uh, let me just to clean up here the chart. Here is the dynamic trend line, by the way, I'm talking about. So this is kind of like a false breakout, again, getting back down. And right now, we are just uh, forming a pretty nice uh, double bottom formation at this ratio. So uh, still, we have uh, one, two, maximum three months this year, somewhere around, as I said, March to April. We should see some kind of like a bottom information here for um, gold miners. And gold miners... At uh, this stage, I should say they're very, very undervalued and they can outperform gold and gold price and also stock market as well. I, I'm very, very bullish to be honest for second half of this year uh, on this sector. And when gold miners can uh, get above this dynamic trend line, that would be kind of like interesting scenario uh, is about to form. We can go all the way up to here to test this pivot. And if it stretched out, so we can go all the way up to here to uh, 25, uh, 0.25 um, uh, ratio. So that's that's pretty um, uh, interesting level as a, like a weekly chart. Here is going to be a, a interesting supply area. I should say we can take out these highs, but again, uh, going above here, um, uh, there are lots of resistance here, and there are lots of uh, supply is coming to the gold miners. And the timing perspective. I'm showing you here in this next slide. So this is the future. And uh, if we get down here somewhere around, uh, as I said, March to April uh, or March to May, then we should see a breakout. And if this breakout happens, I should say, again, being started the first quarter uh, of the cycle, uh, we should see some kind of like a probably like interesting move to the upside. And I should say December 24 to May 25, we can see some kind of like a parabolic move to here, that's going to be a first target. The second target is going to be when we picked here and we can get all the way up to here to uh, 0 0.28, 0 0.29, 2 0.30. So that's weekly supply area. 
I'm not sure if we get there um, in June 2026, but I should say December 24 to May 25, we can see some kind of like a good move, kind of like a parabolic move to the upside for the gold miners. Again, keep an eye on this sector. This sector can uh, can be outperformer, especially for the second half of this year. Then Federal Reserve, um, they start to cut rates. Gold miners are going to be a good beneficiary out of it. So um, just keep an eye on interest rate, GDX to GLD ratio, and gold miners in overall. All right. So next uh, slide, I'm going to just uh, talk about uh, some of the individual names and just follow me on this one. All right. So here is the gold chart. And this is a gold chart, weekly chart. Uh, we are kind of like a channeling down right now. You're just struggling um, 1980 to 2000. I should say gold can still have like a choppy, sloppy here. I'm not sure if it's going to take out this low because if it takes this low, it can go all the way down to here. And that's going to be kind of like a lot of buyers are coming back uh, again to the gold, especially somewhere around 1930 to 1950. But I'm not sure even if this scenario happens. Uh, the likelihood scenario is going to be, uh, we're just uh, seeing kind of like a choppy forming the bottom here, a bottoming formation, 1986 to 2000. That's going to be the level that I'm looking for as a bottom. And then February to March time frame pass, I should say getting to the April, we can see another move to the upside for gold price. And if we test this high, I should say the next one is not going to be just test. It's going to be a breakout. So breakout could be very, very spiky and it can go all the way up to new all-time high. A potential scenario is going to be two, uh, 2,250, 2,220, even 2,186. Those levels are going to be a potential move to the upside. Again, when gold start to move higher, it's very, very hard for people to catch up with it because it's going to be spiky, accelerate in 90-degree parabolic move to the upside. All right, so let's move on to uh, some individual names. Uh, if I want to start here with uh, GLD, uh, which is a gold ETF, but I want to start with uh, GDX. Uh, this is very, very interesting as well. So this is a weekly chart for GDX. And as you see here, um, we are just a forming choppy sloppy here uh, the entire 2023. So if you see here, we have this one and then coming back down again, test here and then back down here to test this level again. I should say we are um, kind of like um, a forming the bottom formation. I should say this is going to be the um, maximum downside target that I have. We may see, we may see, I should say there is no guarantee. We may see some kind of like a lower low, something like this to pick up all the orders from here, then getting back to the upside. And the next upside move, if we get above this trend line. So let me just show here, this is gonna be a trend line. So if we get above this trend line, gold uh, miner GDX can move easily to top of this uh, pivotal point. So the pivotal point upside move is gonna be just the top August 2020 after COVID crash. And you should see this rally is stretching up. So we can go all the way up here again um, to test this area. So that's going to be pretty interesting level for GDX, uh, especially on the weekly time frame. As you see here, momentum wise, we are getting to do all back uh, reversal to the upside. So this is a pretty bullish signal as well. Then we see there is no uh, kind of like a excuse for going down, uh, but we should see some kind of a reversal is coming. A potential reversal is coming again um, somewhere around this area. I'm not sure if we go to lower low and then getting back to the upside, or we can just form a higher low, which is going to be a very, very bullish signal for um, this name. So this is a GDX. Let me save it here and going to GDXJ. GDXJ, the same pattern here. So if I just uh, show you here, uh, this is a weekly chart uh, for GDX J. So as you see here, we have this nice demand area and this demand area tested once. And right now, 
I should say this is a dominant trend line here. So uh, we are kind of like a forming, uh, let me show you here. This is a very, very nice leapfrog that I say it's about to form. Here's the low, here's the higher low. And even if we go below this low, don't fool yourself because as long as we are above this low, this pattern is pretty bullish, especially for the long term, especially when I see the four year cycle is about to finish and the bottoming cycle is about to finish and we can see some kind of like a reversal. When reversal is coming back, when we get above this trend line, I should say, again, testing this high is gonna be a possible scenario. For sure, we will have some resistance here around 50, but $50 is gonna be just a reversal uh, to the downside for a pullback. Again, next rally to the upside to the double top here. So this is a GDXJ and I should say juniors are kind of like um, forming a better price action compared to big names, especially big names after gold barrack, just are going to the downside. Here's the gold barrack chart. So if you see um, this gold barrack chart, let me just move back here. So last week's, uh, we had kind of like a weak price action for gold barrack, specifically when we see like a downtrend here uh, coming down, um, again, test that here, uh, two, three weeks ago, and then reacting nicely to the downside. But I should say this area again is very, very interesting just because if we zoom back here, so gold bank had some capitulation. Here's the low, here's the higher low, here's the higher low, here's the higher low, here's the higher low. And even if we go below this, I'm not sure even we, if we get below this higher low. So this is gonna be fourth higher low. A uh, fifth one is coming. A potential scenario is going to be again March to May. And if it goes back above this top, which is $18, then we should see parabolic move, something like this. It's it's pretty hard to catch up with when it breaks the trend line to the upside. So in case of breakout, just uh just it's it's very hard to, to get on it. So my suggestion is. When you see the chart, the weekly chart, and also the cycle timing shows us we are pretty close at the bottom or the bottom is uh, is there or we are pretty close and the downside target or downside move could be just limited. So get in. So you can't just have like a small position here, just have it in your radar, see if it forms at the bottom here. You can just step back on this name as well. So this is a gold barrack. Let me save this and moving to Franco Nevada, which is my favorite, to be honest, in this environment, because this is stock, because this is stock oversold. As you see here, Franco Nevada, this is a one hour chart. But if we go to daily chart, oops, daily. So you see that this is a daily chart and this one is very, very oversold. Look at that. So right now we are at a pretty close to a monthly bottom here, but there is a strong bottom. We need to establish itself or price needs to establish itself above 109, 110. The best case scenario for Franco Nevada is getting above 112, 111, 112. So if we see some kind of like a pullback again, 112, getting back, Pull back to the upside 17, consolidation, 134 is coming down the road. So I should say this name is very, very interesting. This is one of the best among the other one. This is a good Canadian one. And right now it is just oversold and due to rate cuts, which is coming, potential scenario is going to be next six months or uh, within the next six months or within the next uh, three months, we will see rate cut from Bank of Canada as well. So this one can be beneficiary. And when rate cut is coming or we are getting close to the rate cut, you, you will see that this one is getting all the way up to the upside. 140 is coming. So we can see 30% to 40% to the upside with this name. So again, gold miners are a good investment. If you just look at them, as a six months to one year investment, that would be very well paid out 
uh, a good investment, especially in this environment when everyone is piling into technology and technology is about to roll over. And I should say corrective if it's coming. Make sure I watch the next video that I have uh, for a stock market analysis for this week, which is going to be a weekly wrap. Uh, this sector would be amazing for investment for the next uh, six months to one year. All right. I covered everything, pretty much everything. If you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.